Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loeschek. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. This is our daily NBA show we've been doing with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. We're going to take a look at the three NBA playoff games tonight. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks, Pete. Got tough, tough losses. The Clippers uh, fall apart late. A, a late turnover by Blake Griffin, in my opinion, the difference. But... Hey, it's still been a successful NBA playoffs, and I uh, hope to get uh, continue in the block here tonight. I think it's a good card tonight, believe sure. it or not, and uh, we'll continue success throughout the playoffs. You have any looking over the three games? Are there any games that you uh, want to give an official pick on, or are you just going to discuss the odds? I've got one good official pick tonight, going really. Pete. All right, well, let's go about go through it game by game. First one, Cleveland at Boston. Cleveland, of course, you know, up to zip. They won both games comfortably, but uh, you know, the spreads were big. Just one and one against spread in those two games. And now Boston is a relatively small home underdog. Last night it was four on the overnight. Now it's up to four and a half or five. You know, obviously Cleveland uh, has a big talent edge here. The question is just how much will the refs uh, want to hand Boston a game maybe uh, in, in this um, two-game home stretch here? I don't know. Do you feel comfortable taking Cleveland, uh, giving just four and a half or five at Boston? Yeah, no, this is actually going to go down as one of my official picks here, ah. Pete. I, I actually really like the Cavaliers in this game. Okay. I, I think I think it's too low of a number. You got This Boston team's getting way, way too much respect here, Pete. This is a team that finished below 500. Yes, they played better basketball down the stretch, but it was against the poor, poor opponents throughout the end of the season. I know that this crowd's going to be rumbling. They're excited for a playoff game. It's Brad Stevens' first home playoff game. All the young guys' first home playoff game. But I think that's actually going to play a little bit against them. I think nerves are going to set in for Boston. Historically, LeBron James has played outstanding in Boston. He's still got a chip on his shoulder because that's one of the places where he was knocked out in the playoffs a couple of years ago. I think the, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers will be ready to go. This is a team that's up to zip. They're going in with a lot of confidence, a good veteran team. I just think LeBron James is throwing for a big, big game. Too low of a number for, for the number two seed to go in and face a team that was below 500 all year. I got to go with the Cavs. All right, I, I'm not disagree with anything you said. I'm not really worried about um, about the home crowd at Boston. I'm just worried about the refs. You know, the refs are going to want to give Boston one of these home games, right? Just to, just because that's the way the NBA works. I'm just worried that this might be the game. You know, I don't know, Pete. I, I, I think it's a fair point, but you look at Memphis is up two to zero. You look Houston's up two to zero. Atlanta's up two to zero. A lot of these home teams. You know, I, I, I can see the refs possibly doing it. They like to extend series, and without a doubt, it's a money-making business. Yeah. But in the same flip of the coin, I don't know if this is a type of series that they're really looking to extend. I, I just think Boston is not worthy to be in this type of competition with the Cavaliers. So don't see it here. I actually, like I said in the series video, I'm looking at a sweep. I still stand by that. I think Cleveland gets it done. So, so that's going to be your official pick, Cleveland minus four and a half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'll tell you what, Troy. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say I don't like it only because of the ref's angle, but we will see how it plays out. Then second game, Chicago at Milwaukee. Milwaukee, a similar situation to the Cleveland-Boston series, although Milwaukee is just a two-and-a-half or three-point favorite right now. You know, once again, uh, Chicago – Talent-wise, obviously has a significant edge up. Uh, that Chicago also covered both their spreads against Milwaukee as opposed to Cleveland, uh, Boston, uh, Boston two opening two games. Will the refs hand one of these to Milwaukee? I don't know. Not as much of a major market. Maybe Chicago minus two and a half might be the play here. What do you think, Troy? Yeah, this is a really, really weird, weird line. Milwaukee, a tough, tough place to play, without a doubt. And this, again, it's almost the identical situation of the Cleveland-Boston game where you get a young team, young coach, first home playoff game in quite some time. You know, Milwaukee will be ready to go. Is it enough to get it done against Chicago? That I don't know. I'm not a fan of taking all road teams. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of that at all. So this is a pass for me and more confident with the Cleveland game. But in the end, do I think Chicago will prevail? I'd like to think so, but it's a pass for me. Okay. Actually, I think that um, I'd prefer taking Chicago minus 2.5 over Cleveland at minus 4.5. But you're going to pass on that one. And then the third game, very interesting matchup here, right? Golden State and New Orleans. Golden State uh, you know, won both the first two games by decent margins. But New Orleans covered both of the games as a double-digit underdog. Both games are also not huge scoring, and so now the Pelicans right now a five-point home underdog. Total is 203. Can the Pelicans steal one of these home games? I think they probably can, and five points, is that too many to be giving to them? 
I think it probably is. I think I'd lean towards New Orleans plus five, but I'm not going to be betting that one because you know what Golden State can do if they start hitting all their threes. But uh, what do you think of New Orleans plus five? Yeah, the last thing you said, Pete, really hits it for me is the fact that Golden State can catch fire sure. at any point. Sure, all teams can catch fire at any point, but Golden State obviously way more prone to do so. This team can shoot the three like none other. Way too much talent on the floor. They've blown out teams by huge, huge margins numerous times throughout the year. I just cannot go against Golden State. It's one of my written rules throughout the course yeah. of the year is do not, bet, do not bet an under for Golden State and do not bet against them. This is a situation five. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting number without a doubt. And the Pelicans have been competitive in the series. But Golden State, I think, is prone to get that double-digit win at some point. This could be the game. We'll see if the refs have a factor in this one. But no way I'm touching uh, the Pelicans tonight. It would be a pass for me. Yeah, I have been uh, reading some some people whose opinions I respect saying that they like the Pelicans at plus five. So just take that into consideration. And also, you know, the first two games were, were, were a bit lower scoring than, uh, than maybe people were expecting. The second game went way under. I'm still kind of leaning towards overs in one way or another, you know, maybe like a first half over or maybe doing some quarters overs. The total's 203. Do you think that uh, these games will start going higher scoring soon? Do you think maybe the over 203 might be uh, at least worth a small shot? It could, but remember, as I said, Pete, in the Sizzle Sunday series videos, defense actually elevates in the playoffs. Guys sure. finally find sure. a reason to play defense. At Golden State, if you look at some of the statistics, when they hold opponents under 100 points, God dang, they are almost unbeatable. So Steve Kerr's really got these guys playing good defense, so that's why these totals have gone under. Could it happen again tonight? That I don't know. I mean, 203 is an interesting number because yeah. we know Golden State could easily put up 110, yeah. 115 points. If they do so, this game's an obvious over. So yeah. for me, it's a pass only because Golden State's defense is elevated so much, but if I had to take a shot, it'd be the over, absolutely. Interesting thoughts. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, only going with one play. Cleveland, minus four and a half. He's going with it. Uh, I don't disagree with that one, except for the ref's angle. That's the one that, uh, that makes me nervous. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, thanks so much. Talk to you in tomorrow.